Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Jam. This is a quick little tutorial tips type thing for plane design because this is something that I see people doing a lot. Treakables. It's the thing where you can right click certain items in the VAB and you can change properties about them and you can change how much fuel is in something with control surfaces you can control what they do with wheels you can control whether they steer or do brakes or whatever why does this say unlock steering the steering should be unlocked i'll fix that if necessary anyhow so basically some very quick tips about that so the front wheel well we should have steering on the front wheel shouldn't we um, sometimes you might want to have the brakes disabled because with brakes the plane can tip over on its nose with the brakes on the wheel, front wheel too strong. Also, you could just turn the brakes down on the rear wheels. You might want to turn them up. When it comes to control surfaces, you don't want your normal control surfaces, your uh, horizontal control surfaces to control yaw because that would require something vertical. So generally it's a good idea to turn that off. And the reason it's a good idea is because while when the surfaces are perfectly straight, it's no big deal. When they're ever so slightly angled, like you might have noticed these are ever so slightly angled downwards, then they will activate slightly when you're trying to yaw, and that can produce undesired results. Also, it looks a bit weird, because when you're yawing, you expect the things that do the yawing to do the yawing. Another thing, uh, so you might have noticed we have state, normal, and deployed, right? So that allows you to see what it's going to look like when the control surfaces is in active in in use also it allows you to start with them deployed or not deployed and then also you might have noticed you can invert the deployment now the whether it's inverted or not that tells you what will happen if let's say you go to the action groups and let's say you actually have something set to deploy or toggle in this case you can extend or retract and these are generally used so that you can make flaps or you can make air brakes and in this case, I have the big S elevons here and the advanced canards up there set to toggle when I hit zero. And the reason why is what will happen is these will go up like that and these will go down like that. And what happens is, first of all, these going down is going to try to pitch the plane down. These going up is going to try to pitch the plane up. But their combined effects mostly nullify. They don't entirely. It will try to pull up because these have more control authority than these. But with them fighting each other like this, the effect is an air break. And also these are set as air brakes, only these are actually on the brakes action group. You can see we have the landing gear, the landing gear, and the canards. So these will tilt in towards each other to act as air brakes. They are also active on the yaw axis, as you might have noticed. They're not active on pitch or roll because I want them to just activate on yaw. So they can be used as brakes or as yaw control. They can actually be used as brakes and yaw control at the same time, which is really clever. I like that. Also, a lot of people leave monoprop in the command in the cockpit when there is no point in having it in there. If you don't have any RCS stuff on your ship, there's no point in having it in there. Another thing I see sometimes, although far less frequently, is leaving oxidizer in pieces that have oxidizer and fuel when you just have jet engines. Again, it's just extra mass that you're carrying around for no reason. And so basically I'm just making this video real quick to point out that there's all these things that you can right click on something and change how it works. And don't just leave your parts at their default settings because you might be able to come up with more interesting things by doing stuff like this. Thanks for watching, as always, see you in space. That's the smoothest I can do, I was using a mouse. <laughs> Actually, I think that was pretty smooth, considering the fact that I was using a mouse and totally didn't plan on doing that, so yeah, that's, that's good. I also need to fix this craft, because it actually has some problems I've just noticed.